Hello guys, welcome to our channel at 2 Hub. I am Bhaswata, your tutor, and in tutorial 1, this is episode 2, where we will be teaching that, or rather, we will be getting acquainted with this software. This won't be a long video unless I talk more, but it's better if you follow from episode 1. So let's see how Animate gets started. Now I have my Animate opened as it's in my taskbar and I just click this. But you can go to start and then search it. Well that's not to be defined that how to open a software. But still. Now see. You will first get a small box. Okay. First you will get a small box of animate like this if I open one again then you will get a small box of animate CC and then this black window will be opened. Now to open an old file the one which we will be using is go to files open and then go to your desert folder and browser and just select it click open. So this is our folder and if you want to make a new one then go to file the same way click on new okay now this are some sizes given and there are also many menus like social game education ads web advanced anything like these are something which you will be needing for different purposes like if you're making a gaming character of a game or a game okay so you can choose this game option there are sizes but after all these are sizes okay now I am clicking this standard one because this is a good one this takes less space and also it's good now I am typing it 24 frames this is already there and this is the height and width okay width is 640 and height is 480 that is 480p what do we call now this is a window of 480p okay after creating now you can see with something called a stage this is a stage this is a stage this is a timeline which is called timeline panel this is tools panel this is some other options like properties panel library panel color palettes alignment and uh, many things you can add even more okay okay um in this file which i have opened let's see what's there now there are two pictures okay there are small very simple two pictures now here if we enter if you click enter then this plays see this is playing you are seeing two pictures are moving from right to left and then sorry left to right and then left now what is this now if we play like in preview format Control plus enter or command plus enter in Mac you will see this small window is coming up and it is going on loop this is where we preview an animation okay now how I have created this animation like see this is the layer panel in the layer panel you will see these two layers image 1 image 2 now the image 2 is the flower and image 1 is the fountain forest whatever you say now see these frames when I go to frame number 3 you can see that these positions are changed see positions are changed it is not a smooth one okay if we can add if you if you have uh, added something like here like this then you will see smoother okay
okay um so this will make something smoother this animation now i have made this frames by changing every time their positions like see every frame 3 5 7 10 12 this is the frame number you can see and i can just click my mouse and the uh, just click and drag to go to some frames okay so this frame by frame animation when i am previewing it is seems it seems like um just an animation of two images sliding here and there yes this is a simple one i know but this is very important this is how animations are done in each frame position is changed of some objects or all the objects and then when you see it in 24 fps rather 12 fps many people use 12 fps you will see that these things are in motion but actually they are not in motion they are just pictures but according to your eyes these objects will be at motion so this is animation is all about now for frames if you use 24 frames per second then it's standard if you can also use 12 frames per second if you have very slow animation like this flower to go here to here in two seconds then you can use that 12 frame thing and if you have a fast like action or something which a fight scene or someone is running then you will be needing a very big a very large amount of frames like in the games you will find 60 fps games 120 fps games this these are just frames per seconds which gives you a clarity which gives you some smooth effect now if i just um what i can say is see this is something called onion skinning now not getting into details but if i choose this one and just in the middle and then if i choose this box and again if i change it here and then if i also make it here so i have made one two three four five five frames consecutively okay now see this animation will be much smoother than the upper one you can see see this okay so this is the concept now see this is called mm, menu bar and this is scenes now you can change scenes from here this is scene 1 this is the file name and here that's the address these are tools this is colors you can change colors from here this is fill color this is stroke color now we will discuss that later that what is a fill and what is a stroke this is timeline panel where you can change the timeline of the animation and uh, according to that everything goes on this is very important thing this timeline panel without timeline panel you can make any animation in this world you need this timeline thing now these are layers now one thing I want to show is here this point where these two images are in the same place in the same x-axis okay sorry y-axis I'm sorry y-axis see here this image is overlapping this background image this flower this is overlapping it just because the image one that is the forest is above the layer 2 that is image 2 
is doing this now if i put image 2 over the image 1 then see what's happening and again vice versa so layer actually gives depth to something like this image will be back it will be in the backward or something beneath this picture and the upper one will be always in front you can also change it by right clicking the image or object arrange and send it to back or whatever you want but that only applies to a layer now if you have two images in a single layer then you can change that but for two different layers you have to manipulate these layers okay so yeah this is not a big video only 11 minutes is passed till now like let me check that if i have missed something or not please wait mm, okay now see i have forgot to tell you something that this is something called workspace this workspace defines that how you want to set up your sorry sorry this place shows you that how you want to set up your window there are many setups you can see that classic one is this essential one is this one which um, we are at animator no 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 we are not at we were not at animator we were using this basic one now from basic there are many things and even you can make your own we will learn that how to make our own workspace and why that will be easier for you okay so that's it for today please like share and subscribe to our channel and see it, it takes very much effort to make these videos it's not one time recording i'm recording this for the fifth time so near about one hour I have spent and also to write these points and all. So this needs very much working. So please try to share this playlist so that many other can see this video and our views grows because our channel is not that big till now. But we want our channel to grow bigger because we are not doing something commercial. It's in this group there is only two members. So you can understand that we are just doing it as a hobby so please support us that will also help us to make more videos well thank you and goodbye see you soon in the next episode of tutorial one